Hey everyone, so today we're going to solve a physics problem, and here's the question. So first we need to determine the number of atoms in one cube centimeter of copper. So to find this, we need to find the mass of the mass of copper in one cube centimeter. So first we need to, to answer part A. So first we need to convert the cube centimeter to meter because of the density is in meter, cube meter. So one cube centimeter equals one cube centimeter multiplied by one over one hundred centimeter cube which will be 1 times 10 to the negative 6 cube meter and then we need to use the density formula rho equals m over v so we can find the mass is the volume times density so density is a920 times the volume which is 1 times 10 to the negative 6 meter cube and then we will have we will have 8.92 times 10 to the negative third power kilogram. So after we get the mass, we can find the how many atoms is in one cube centimeter. So to find this, the number of atoms is equals the mass divided by the the mass of a copper atom. So the total mass is 8.92 times 10 to the negative third power kilogram divided by a the mass of a copper atom which is 1.06 times 10 to the negative 25th kilogram which will give us approximate, approximately approximately 8.42 times 10 to the here's times 10 to the 22 atoms and this will be the answer for part A so for part B we need to find the volume of that. So, the volume of each cube of copper, the volume of each cube of copper will be the total volume divided by the number of atoms in there. Number of atoms. So the volume is one cube centimeter, which is one times 10 to the negative six cube meter divided by the number of atoms, which is 8.42 times 10 to the 20 seconds power atoms. And this will, this will give us the volume is approximately 1.19 times 10 to the negative 29 cube meter and this will be the answer for part B so for part C we need to find find the age dimension of each cube so 
the h dimension. So the volume equals the because it's a cube, so it will be the length cube. The volume of cube is the length times the length times the length. So we have the volume for from part B. So length will be the volume to the one over third power, and we just have to plug in, and the length will equals. 1.19 times 10 to the negative 29th to, to the 1 over 3rd power and after the calculation we will get approximately 2.28 times 10 to the negative 10th power meter and this will be the answer for part C